threshing con in the process of removing the kernels from the cob which can be done using a variety of methods here are the steps to thresh con ensuring you have a clean and ready kernel for cooking githeri Steps to thresh corn. There's manual threshing and there's mechanical thresh. Anyway, in manual threshing, there's hand and using a stick or mallet. For hand threshing, hold the cob with one hand and using the other hand, rub the kernels off with the other. This method is simple and does not require any special tools. But it can be time consuming and tearing, especially if you have a large quantity of corn. The second method, using a stick or a mallet. Place the corn cobs in a large sack or on clean hard surface. Beat the cobs over and over with a stick or a mallet to loosen the kernel. Be careful not to damage the kernels in the process. The second method, mechanical threshing. Here, you can either hand crank corn sheller or use a, an electric corn sheller. For the first one, hand crank corn sheller, this tool can be clamped to a table or a bench. Insert a dried corn cob into the sheller and turn the crank. Of course, the sheller will separate the kernels from the cob efficiently. The second step, using an electric corn sheller. For larger quantities, especially in industries, an electric corn sheller is more efficient. Simply feed the, simply feed the dried corn cobs into the machine which will quickly separate the kernels.
now sorting the beans. Of course we need to pour them first. For this part we pour the dried beans onto a large flat tray or a clean surface. Spread them out evenly so you can easily see all the beans. Yeah, so there's hand picking. We'll carefully inspect the beans and remove any that are discolored, shriveled or damaged. Also look out for small stones, dirt or any other debris that might be mixed with the beans. This process requires a lot, a lot of patience as, thor as thoroughness ensures the final finish in the dish is free from unwanted particles and that all the beans are of good quality. Afterwards, we now rinse the beans. Of course, after hand picking, we need to place the beans in a colander of sieve. Then, we rinse them as thorough and a cold running water to wash away any remaining dirt. Stir the beans gently with your hand to ensure that all are cleaned properly. Thank you. have not yet subscribed I highly recommend that you do so make sure that you also hit the notification bell to stay updated with all of Almasi's latest videos by subscribing you will never and I mean never miss out on any new content exciting recipes or helpful tips your support means a lot to us and helps us continue creating great videos for you to enjoy. Don't miss out. So, this is your time. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Now that you're done threshing the kernels, 
it is time to win. Yes. If your maze is a bit dirty, you can win of course. Once the kennels are separated, winning helps remove any chaff and any other debris. Pour these kennels from one container to another in a breezy area or use a fan to blow away the lighter chaff as the kennels fall into the second container. 